well. I don't prove my worthies of being good on stream. I'm just I I'm inter I here to entertain. I'm here to entertain. I'm dead right here. I'm trying to move my mic. Get it right in the right spot here. I try to get comfortable too. All right, there we go. We're under attack. Yeah, I can tell it's a bit hot in your room. You dumping water on your head. <laughs> Only JV, man. Only JV, man. better class sensitivity around 99 About dead zone, zero point zero nine. I can't see him, Bond is a bitch. I can literally snipe with this thing. When I said I could snipe, I meant I can't snipe. That's what I said. Totally said that. Wonder how. Wonder if people get sad like they got nuked in Call of Duty. Like, what do y'all think that it? Y'all ever think that or no? Like, what are y'all's honest of thoughts of that? I'm kind of glad they're playing objective heavy now. What's my headset settings? I don't really. I run boost high. I think. I believe.
Ouch. Boys were in trouble. Boys were in trouble. I'm using shitty guns right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just went on an 85? 85 gun streak? Let's get it. I'm, I'm literally a guy, bro. I'm literally a guy. I'm literally... I'm literally a god. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you my class setup that I used in this game. So, with the AK-74U build I was using, I did a little bit of tweaking to it. And I like the AK-74 build. As you clearly tell, I just got an 86 gun streak with it, what y'all saw in today's gameplay. And with the class setup I'm going to be showing you is uh, the muzzle brake for being attachment number one. I am going to be running the muzzle brake. Now, why I'm running the muzzle brake is just because of recoil stabilization. It's going to be very helpful when it comes to just shooting your weapon. It's going to be more stabilized when firing. And you're gonna have control of the weapon which is very very helpful when it comes to gunfights in my opinion so that's why i'm using this the muzzle brake has the cons of aim down sight speed and aiming stability which is okay we're gonna be making up for that for our next attachment which is gonna be the 8.1 inch compact barrel that's gonna help with aim down sight speed and movement speed we're gonna be aiming down sights faster and stuff like this, this is the ak 74 u barrel here and uh, it's very helpful the only thing we're gonna be losing on this is bolt velocity and recoil control which is completely completely okay why we're going to be using the next attachment here is going to be ranger foregrip ranger foregrip is going to help with recoil control and aim stability this is going to be helping just more control of the weapon here this gun doesn't have a lot of recoil well it does have a lot of recoil so having stuff that helps with recoil control is going to be very very helpful next is going to be the gi mini reflex now this is just a classic red dot sight that i use in I just like is my favorite you can use any red dot sight or optic you want to use in the game i prefer the gi mini reflex because i think it's the best one in the game you might have a different opinion but i think this is the best so i'd be using this and then finally i'm going to be using the skeleton stock the skeleton stock is going to help with aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed and that's really it for the class setup here i'm going to be using renetti pistols with quick fix restock amped with c4 and stem shot thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one peace
All right, so real quick, guys, if you want to go follow me on Twitch, I live stream almost every single night on Modern Warfare. Sometimes I play Warzone, sometimes I play multiplayer, sometimes I might just chill. And I like to stream for you guys because it's fun. I get to talk to you guys. I get to stream with you guys and everything like that. Uh, I play with you guys all the time. I do play with followers. I do play with subscribers and everything like that. On Sundays, I only usually do subscriber onlys. So what all you got to do if you want to become a, subs uh, a subscriber, all you got to do is come over here where it says uh, get the sub. For me, it doesn't say that, but I'll say subscribe. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. You can become a tier 1, 2, or 3. You, tier 1 is like $5. Tier 2 is like $10. And a tier 3 is like 25. It's all up to you if you want to do that. Or if you have Twitch Prime, make sure to go link that on Twitch. And you can go give me a free sub. Uh, I do add all my uh, Twitch subs and everything like that. And as well, I do add all my YouTube members. If you guys do ever want to become a YouTube member, it's all up to you. But um, it's a great time over there. Twitch is just... I, I honestly have so much fun over there on Twitch. Super fun. I, I live stream. Like I said, I share the best class setups, tips and tricks. Talk to you guys. Kind of vibe out and everything like that. So if you guys do, make sure you go in the description. Hit that follow button if you want to show the extra support. And uh, hit that subscribe button. All the stuff. Like all the money that goes toward... Um, like. I get it goes toward my equipment to make better quality so I do hope you enjoyed today's video thank you guys and I do hope you have a good day peace